Welcome back to my channel, PC Amateur Guy. Uh, today I wanted to talk about uh, if we're gonna be I'm gonna be using Bruce Lee's philosophy and tailor that to a computer. And uh, what I mean by that is uh, Bruce Lee, as many would know, he was basically the father of MMA. And his style was basically, he we often said, no style is style. And so basically what that meant or his philosophy of Jit Kune Do in a nutshell was to have many different styles so that when you're faced in a real battle, there are different situations where, you know, you would probably want to use a weapon for multiple uh, if you're facing multiple enemies at the same time uh, there would be situations where wrestling is better submission is would be better uh, situations where you would use obviously your your fist uh, and so his, his style is no style so his style was basically catered to the enemy meaning you have to find the enemy's weakness and uh, yeah so he was also known as the dragon and if you look at all the creatures all the animals, I should say, sorry, in the world, the dragon is the most flexible animal and the most versatile because it can be, you know, in the water. As some have noted, noted that, you know, Loch Ness Monster, a dragon in the water. So dragons can go in water. Uh, even in uh, folklore, there are people seen dragons in underwater. Uh, and there are some, some dragons living underwater as we speak, apparently. Uh, and then there's dragons in the sky, they can fly, they have fire. So Bruce Lee was called the dragon because the dragon is actually a very versatile animal, right? And so his style was very reflective of the dragon. So if Bruce Lee was to design a computer today, um, which I'm going to call no flow is flow, I would think they're, they're the components that he would pick. I'm just going to dive right into this. I'm just going to use this case. Uh, deep core CH170 as an example but just to dive right into it uh, I believe he would use a 14900k CPU uh, the reason for that is it's more matured now and assuming that there's no more bugs I've been using a 14900k myself there's been no more bugs but a 14900k would be perfect because it's very versatile you can use it for gaming you can use it for uh, as a workstation you can use it for uh, photo editing uh, you can, and so on and so forth. So in any situation that you're given, uh, you will basically uh, the 4900K would be would be really good. Uh, a lot of the AM5 CPUs have like startup issues where it takes like a minute to start up. 4900K with the motherboards, uh, Z690s, 790s, they don't have that issue where you know it just takes a few seconds to load up. So it, it's very fast and not buggy. Uh, so I would say he would use 4900K. In terms of the graphics card, I would say Bruce Lee would pick a 4090. A 4090 is raw power. It's probably the most, the highest generation leap uh, that you could, uh, you know, you could pick right now. The 5090 is more of like um, AI software, fame generation. It's not really raw power, and Bruce Lee was no, known for raw power, right? Uh, in terms of uh, cooling, um, and this is this is obviously my opinion of based on his philosophy, I, I believe uh, Bruce Lee would pick an air cooler, a really good air cooler. In this case, you can put, put in a big air cooler up to like 170 centimeters. And so I would, because I believe an air cooler is a, a lot more versatile. You can actually move it around a lot easier than an AIO cooler. And, you know, if the pump, if the pump dies, you know, basically the air cooler is finished, right? With an air cooler, there's, there's lower maintenance uh, and it's more versatile in that regard. And it can go on forever and ever, man. If it's fans that break down, you can always replace fans. And fans, you know, can live for basically forever. So I believe Boosty would pick an a CPU air cooler for the, versi for the versatility and the late maintenance on there. And lastly, um, in terms of flow, uh, you know, because PC, no flow is flow or no style is style. Just keep in mind that if Bruce Lee was to engineer a computer, you probably would have it where with this specific case, you can actually put a, a fan in the bottom there and a fan obviously you can see on top. 
and then you can put the air cooler position so that all of the flow will just go directly straight up and all those fans will work in harmony and one of the things you could do also is go into the motherboard and have these CPU fans uh, increase uh, as the CPU increases as the CPU temperature increases and that what that means is obviously when the CPU gets harder the CPU cooler will work har harder harder meaning the fans will ramp up but also the case fans will ramp up and because it's directly flowing up it will actually work in harmony and it actually will keep you quiet overall quieter because these fans will the CPU fans will also ramp up I don't believe uh, that he would put an exhaust fan here right uh, because the, it would actually interfere with the flow. You want to make sure that the flow is just going up. There's a lot of computers where you can put three fans in the bottom underneath the graphics card and then fans on top. And essentially the whole flow would just be from bottom to top. And I believe that's maximization. Uh, if you put flows to the left front and then up and down, it's actually going to conflict with each other because the flow is not hom homogenous and it's just going to... Like for example, you pull f uh, fans out here. Right, and at Vancouver Canucks, uh, there was um, one of the <clears throat> the um, hosts. He actually did uh, many uh, different uh, scenarios and uh, for a fan text case, and he, he proved that. And I'm gonna put the link on that video below so that you can uh, you know you can see that video for yourself because I thought that was a really good video. Uh, Dimitri actually did that on a fan text. I think it was a P600, uh, but I'll put the link below, and you can you can see that more fans doesn't mean better. It depends on the flow of the fans, right? And he proved that. And then lastly, uh, in terms of a graphics card, I mean, if anybody that any of the company manufacturers are watching this for PC, uh, I would put two more fans if I could where the graphics card is. So that it is actually intaking. And then the graphics card is also intaking. So it goes this one flow. So that would also keep <clears throat> the graphics card uh, cooler as well. And uh, for this no flow is flow PC based on Bruce Lee's philosophy I would say he would use a small footprint because a small footprint uh, case is actually very versatile right meaning you can actually put it on actually a cooler right now you can put this case anywhere you can put it in a big case small case you can put it on even in a living room uh, on top of a coffee you know there's a lot of versatility there and the smaller the footprint uh, it's also the more portable it is as well right you don't want to lug a 45, 55 liter PC with you. And that's just a lot of bulk there. And based on Bruce Lee, he, he didn't, he want, he wanted to be very versatile. He wanted to be able to move very quickly. So if you need to move this PC somewhere else, you can do that very quickly as well. Right. And I, I know that's metaphorically speaking, but you know, so, uh, I hope you liked this video of, uh, no flow is flow. And, uh, thank you for watching.